Hey everybody, hope all is well. Let's take a look at this news story. Then I've got the clip. This like really like really angered me. Seriously, it like so angered me. I'm just like, uh uh, nah, this can't, cannot be. So Winston Salem State University student arrested for arguing with what? With professor. Wow. Winston-Salem State University student arrested for arguing with professor. A black 20-year-old Winston-Salem State University student was arrested for arguing with a professor in class, proving to those in doubt that racism still exists in 2022 and prevails in the most subtle and obvious forms. A deeply triggering and upsetting TikTok video shows the girl identified by the user as Layla restrained in handcuffs attempting to explain to a squad of county jail police officers that if she knew arguing with her teacher would get her arrested, she would have apologized. To add insult to injury, Winston-Salem State University is a HBCU. The video later shows the arrest as the officials cuff Layla while she understandably expresses her contempt for the actions of her white teacher. The arrest is visibly forceful as she pleads with officers to stop hurting her. Or according to the university, a staff member who was neither present nor involved in the situation contacted the police after the argument could not be de-escalated after numerous attempts. The purpose of institutions of higher education is to encourage the debate and intersection of different ideas. Sometimes this leads to heated discussions, but arguing is never a crime and for a supposed arbiter of, of knowledge and an authority figure, no less, the student should never have been arrested or forced to apologize to placate the feelings of her professor. The professor has been identified as Cynthia Villagomez. Oh no! So much for the Black and Brown Coalition. The professor has been identified as Cynthia Villagomez, while the arresting officer is named Michael Raw. While the TikTok video is below, please proceed with caution and watch at your own risk. Okay, well, I'm not seeing the video, but that's okay. We have it over here. So Villagomez, that's her name. Cynthia Villagomez. I'm going to show you this in a separate screen really anger me and here it says a professor at winston-salem state university had a student arrested for not apologizing for raising her voice in retaliation of the professor raising her voice first so she merely matched her tone do you not understand what the hell is happening here it's one of those things I can raise my voice, talk to you any kind of way that I want to. But you, oh, no, no. As a minority student, as a black woman, at an HBCU, no less. Don't you dare do it to me. Check this out. Did you hear that? Listen to what the student said.
You hear that? So she was yelling at her. So what you're supposed to do as a black woman, you just sit down, girl, and you listen. But uh, Villa Gomez, but this is, don't forget the Black and Brown Coalition. Don't forget one of my ex hungers Y'all worried about them coming over here. They, man, I am so done with this group. They show you every time, but you are worried about everybody else. The hell with this witch. Piss me off. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. That's, that's BS. I'm saying. I'm like... Okay, what the hell is Joe? I'm sorry. She thinks she's slick. She's trying to say, I'm sorry, but did you not hear her say, okay, you know what? It got out of hand. The police are here. That's not necessary. I can promise you. I promise you that if she were at a white school, she wouldn't have done it because you know why? They know where the damn power lies. And excuse my language, pissing me the hell off. They know where the power lies. She wouldn't dare do this to, to Becky. Because she already know. You have one of them arrested all for, for, Matt, for raising her voice. We I have seen white people yell at the cops, talk crazy to them, and don't get arrested. Don't get arrested. Seriously. I, I'm sorry, but you didn't say, okay, took the cut because I was misunderstanding. Oh, and then on top of that, guess who uh, I was checking to see who the president was of Winston-Salem State University, and it is Elm Wood Robinson, uh, a black man. Now, here's my thing about this whole video. And I'm going to do something else because I, I don't know. Um, this has really done it for me. This lets you know that this right here, these folk, they, everybody knows when you call a piece of a black person, what they're trying to do, they want to escalate it. Okay. Maybe try to get her thrown out of school. Everybody should boycott this class. This, whichever teacher she should be the hell up out of there. A black man is the president. So he might be the typical one. Huh? Wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't, I'm just going to be honest with you. I wouldn't sure as hell home, home, uh, give, give my hopes up high. But this right here, they know in an HBCU, they're not black. They, The world is watching. They know how we operate. And they can pretty much get away with anything. You can treat a black student any kind of way. If she had her behind sitting up at some whitest institution, oh, this never would have happened to Becky. They could curse her out and it would have happened. She would have held her big old head down and just, and just went on. But this is this lets you know, even in your so-called surrounding, they know who's running the show. They know who is running the show. I kid you not. And that's why I think this here, I'm calling the school. Mm -hmm. So I'm on hold. I'm calling Winston-Salem State University. Looks like the average cost is what, $12,000 a year. So you're paying $12,000 a year plus room and board. Huh. And it seems to vary. I'm just checking information online. And the number that I'm calling is 336-750-2000. Yeah, it's taking too long. I want to get somebody else on the phone. I, I just want... Uh, nah. This lets you know, once again, they know that they can go anywhere. Especially if it's all black and they can treat you any kind of way. What's going to happen? There's a black man over it and he got a suit and tie and. Welcome to Western Salem State University, Office of Admissions. Please listen carefully as our menu options have changed. For information about your application status, press 1. For information about registering for a campus tour, press 2. For information on confirming your intent to enroll, press 3. For questions on North Carolina residency, press 4. For questions about financial aid, press 5. For questions about housing and residence life, press 6. To speak to an admissions counselor, press 7. Let's see if we get an admissions Thank counselor on the line. Graduate admission. Please hold for the next available agent. This here just proves to you. At Winston-Salem State, 
We graduate champions. Congratulations, this her proves to you the they can pretty much do anything to you, even under the disguise of leadership of a HBCU. And I have heard that there are so many. I've heard that there are so many. And I'm sorry they have me in hold. That there are so many teachers of different nationalities. And I get that, diversity. But what grasps me so, when you look at black academia, academia, you can have, you can have so many black professors, you might be waiting five or 10 years before you can get a job at a predominantly non-black school. Why is that? But anybody can teach at the HBCU. Why is that? I've actually heard someone with a degree so they went to go and tried to apply for a job and I actually still have them on hold. Apply for a job at an HBCU and guess what happened? Oh, you're not a fit. Well, the person is black and has a PhD. What, what, what's the problem? Oh, they ask you some questions. Ah. Uh. They ask you some questions and you didn't have the right answer. So maybe, just maybe, you were too black. And they're asking you about personal, you know, how you feel about certain things. So it makes me wonder, what do you think they're saying? What do you think they're saying? Her apology don't mean Jack. She could have said, hey, I apologize. Let's, let's, let's not do this. This is not necessary. No, she got what she wanted. This is again, hashtag power checking you. So this right here, they still have me on hold. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. It may take a while, but I'll do a follow up. But this here, it makes no sense. Arguing. The teacher's trying to embarrass her arguing about a paper she responds back mirrors her this is the teacher wants her as a black woman at a hbcu to assume a very docile position yeah it's called you don't talk back to me girl it sounds it, it, it reminds me of like some the whole idea some old jim crow stuff i can talk to you yell at you any kind of way and what you're supposed to do is just, well, you just be quiet. So they're doing this at an HBCU. Why? They know the mentality of, of black people, what they can get away with. Anybody can treat us any kind of way, even in our so-called own spaces, treat you any kind of way. And you can have black folks in charge. Don't mean a darn thing. It, it, it means nothing. This is ridiculous. Handcuffed like a criminal. Because she's handcuffed like a criminal. So I hope a lot of you all who believe in the so-called fake black and brown coalition, like my hunger, you worried about them. You see when they get her, how they treat you. Everybody that comes is going to do one darn thing, which is common sense. What, what's, what's going on? How things operate? Who's on top and who's at the bottom? And no one is going to align themselves with anybody who's at the bottom. So your black and brown coalition, let her be at Harvard or Pepperdine when she'd done this to Becky. Hell no, she'd be too darn scared. So, oh, and in closing, again, this will be part two when I get somebody on the phone. I just have some questions. In closing, you know how all those... Uh, Mammies and black women, they got up on it. Black psychologists made the statement about black men and they got her fired. Let me see you put your behind and work on this. Because she was a little fiery and asked them to do better. So just like they got that black woman fired from her job, black women. Uh, let me see you hop on this. I'm definitely going to do my part. I'm still on hold. So I'll do a part two of the video. Let you guys hear it. Thanks for watching. I am so upset. I'm out.